when uh, most people think of innovation, especially in India, it's for the top 20% richest people. Nobody innovates, actually more precisely, nobody invents for the bottom 70% or 80% for a simple reason, they don't have any money, so they can't buy anything from you. Well, we've decided to go the other route in, is to invent things for that 70%. And after doing a lot of work in India and actually visiting those, what we would think of as customers, we found out what's really required above all things in India. These two things are here in terms of requirements. Everything else is really down here. The two things that are fairly obvious are water and energy. If you give water to people in rural areas, their income, we found, goes up by four times. And everything that's been invented in the last uh, 100 years requires power, requires energy, like, requires electricity. So we've taken 60%, 70% of the people, and all the inventions are not for them because they don't have electricity. So the first thing we've invented, actually it took a couple years, and it's probably the coolest invention you'll see in, in, in the next 50 years. It's so simple that whenever we have really senior guys come in and they're, they're, they're all excited, people that you know, wouldn't get excited for almost anything. And what it is, it's a hybrid bicycle. And if you pedal for an hour, you get electricity for a day, for 24 hours. And first of all, there's no pollution because it's really powered by you. And second, there's no bill ever, no invoice, no charges for electricity ever. And it can be fixed by somebody who fixes bicycles. This will change India as we know it. We've kept this 70% has remained poor because they can't participate in anything that goes on in the world because they don't have power. And 70% of India either has no power or has, has power two hours a day, three hours a day. So now we and it, and it is, and interestingly, it's not just for people in the villages or just for really poor people. I talk to people that make, you know, maybe 12, 15,000 rupees a month. And I asked them, would you be interested in something that, let's say, cost maybe 12,000 rupees? And he looked at me like I was nuts. He says, of course we would be interested. Because if, if you think of it in terms of, even a person in the United States, makes, let's say makes $80,000, these guys will still go out there and mow their lawns, right? Which is worth, what, $6 an hour? Because there's a limited amount that you make, and everything else is perceived as free. So electricity is going to be a, the, the major thing that supports them. Then what this is, will do as an enabler, probably a million factories will show up all of a sudden you've got people making little whatevers. And their day transforms from all of a sudden at, in the evening, that's it, you're done for the day because you can't see anything, to having that day extended a few more hours. And what we really need is enablers like energy and water because what happens a lot, at least in my view, which I'm sure lots of people will take offense, but most everything else is sort of, you know, it's like going to a guy who's starving and saying, well, let me give you a designer shirt. You know, he's going to look at you like, you're an idiot, you know. It, for, for example, if, 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 if you go to a village and the guy doesn't have a job, doesn't have food, and you say, we're going to give you toilets. Seriously? If you go to the village and you actually will find out what village, what the people actually need. And the funny part is, it's so simple. If you ask the questions to everybody that's rich, which is everybody in this room, or 90% of the United States, 95% of the United States, and say, ask them this question, what do the poor people really need? And they won't have, really have an answer, because they've never met one. They've never gone to talk to one. They'll have some study from Harvard or something, which, you know, great. You're going to sit there and make studies sitting in Boston. Awesome. 
What's really required is to go down there and find out. And you find out really simply that all they want is exactly the same thing that most everybody else wants, which is to make a living and take care of their families. That's it. It's not rocket science. You go down there and you find out. It's that simple. Now, how do you enable that? That's the key. Water also, we've come up with probably the most uh, advanced in desalination anywhere in the world. Uh, I have an invention shop about 30,000 square feet. That, that's all they do is invent stuff there. And we are ahead probably everybody in, in not only in desalination, which would affect California and everywhere else, but also for India, we've come up with another device. Actually, we didn't come up. We bought it with this technology, which we transformed it into this small unit. Uh, it costs about $400, and it will clean water at about 250 gallons an hour, free from bacteria, heavy metals, arsenic. Uh, and because it has a backwash, the filter itself will last for at least three years. And then you replace the filter. So we're talking village level water cleaning for 400 bucks. Um, and then the desalination, it'll be the, that, that's the massive side where there's, there is water, but it can't be used. Um, so those are, those, are the, those are the really big things that's required. Uh, and w what the funny part is, what happens in India is you've got out of $100 that are spent on philanthropy, 65 go to education and two go to water. The reason they go to education is because all the rich people think that if only the farmers were as smart as me, if only they had education like me, then they'd be fine. If everybody could write code, well, then, then all the problems of the world are solved. It's just insane. It's just ridiculous. Right? You go to the farmers and you find out they're not stupid. They're as smart as you are. And they are educated. They're educated in farming. How many of you know how to farm? Right? You may be an engineer or doctor or whatever, you don't know farming. They're educated in farming. What they really need is to help them in what they're educated in, instead of arrogance of saying, they should be educated like me. No, no, that, that, that's just arrogance. What we found out is if you give them water, seeds that don't degrade that quickly, they make a living. I mean, I went to villages and found out that they said, our children don't want to go to the cities if they could make a living right here. That's the answer. Not send everybody to the cities to do what? Everybody thinks, oh, well, you know, they don't even have ninth grade education. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is education, what is the purpose of education? The first purpose of education is to make a living. If you can give them something with their education, and they can make a living, that's the first step. I'm not saying they shouldn't learn you know, philosophy and art and all that stuff. But what they first need is to be able to make a living. And that's what we have to go and enable them to. And that's a problem everywhere. Everybody's with fashions these days. Has been for a long time. And every other year, there's a new word of fashion, sustainability. Oh, the guy's starving, really? You're going to give him an education in four years? He'll be dead by tomorrow. Or toilets. Seriously, guys? Toilets? That's what you've come up with? Or stuff that they don't think through. Right? Toilets are great. I don't disagree that toilets would be wonderful. But I'm starving here, and you're going to give me a toilet? You know, so it, it, there has to be something that, that has to be thought through. And the only way, the first step of thinking things through, is to go to the customers, find out what they need. Don't just ask them. It's like anything else. If you ask a customer what they need, they'll give you the wrong answer. You have to go there and really think through what happened. And then you'll see. What's really needed is so obvious. Thank you.